In this video guide, we're going to see how we can connect two different software to create facial animations, uh, lip sync, and uh, connect an audio file to a face, basically a virtual face of a virtual actor. We're going to use Audio 2 Face from Omniverse and we're going to use Unreal Engine, MetaHumans. So we're going to do this connection, trying to do the connection with the 5.4 and if not we're going to use 5.3 if it's not working because at the moment the omniverse audio to phase it's in the beta version but it's also a little bit old so we need uh, metahumans uh, installed in our engine uh, so you can go for the metahuman plugins there are also other add-ons that you can use you can create a project using metahumans standard project or the lightning uh, project which we explore in other video guys that you find in the playlist of Unreal Engine. So right now you see I have the 5.4, the 5.3, and I've installed the latest Omniverse Audio to Face plugin through the Omniverse launcher here. If you didn't, you need to install it. So make sure you have Audio to Face installed, Omniverse installed. We dedicated uh, the video guys to this. So uh, once this is here, uh, you can see this is beta version, you have all the information and we can just press launch or press this little button here to open it up and we're going to start setting up these two different software. So one is going to be the audio to face and this is the 2023 version. Now we need a specific file to do this example that it's uh, in the samples. So this is the interface down here in the examples panel. You need to use this Claire Salt Air Kit. So double click on that, and it's gonna open. It's gonna open it up. It's gonna take a little bit, but it's gonna open it up. There you go. Now for the live link and to put those two to connect those two together and synchronize them, we need this plugin right here. So you can type live link UE plugin audio to face and you'll find all the like updated instructions. This could change over time. They have changed. So this is kind of an update and just follow the instructions. So what we need to do to install the plugin, we cannot install it directly from the marketplace, but we need to copy and paste a folder from the installation folder of the audio to face to the Unreal Engine folder, the, the engine that you're using. Not the actual project you're working with, but the, the, the version of the engine. So uh, this is the, again, Omniface, Omniverse, sorry, audio to face. And what we're going to do in here in the library section next to the launch, we can click here on the hamburger menu, get into the settings. And if you click on the little folder, it's going to open up directly the installation folder of audio to face or else you can just navigate in your computer. I'm just going to show you here the, the link or the directory is right there. So you see users, the name of your user, update local and et cetera, et cetera. So you can follow that if you eventually don't find it, but the easiest way is to go through the Omniverse launcher and just open up the, the settings panel. And this one here instead is the directory of the Unreal Engine, uh, in this case 5.4, as you see here. So C program files, Epic Games, UE uh, version you want, and then engine and then plugins folder. So we copy from this folder here and specifically in the UE plugins folder double click in here and get the version that you have now i want to use this 5.3 but i want to try it before in the unreal engine 5.4 which is the latest probably is not going to work but you need this one folder called ace so copy that and paste it here in the engine plugins folder and that's it so Remember, it needs to be the ACE folder inside the version that of the plugin that you want to use. Now I'm going to launch 
the Unreal Engine 5.4, I've already created a scene. So I'm going to use uh, Meta Human Lightning scene that I set up in another video. So I'm going to first start with this. If it's not working, we're going to use the 5.3. So make sure you download and install both Unreal Engine 5.3 and Unreal Engine 5.4 if you want to do the same test. And eventually they're going to make like more updated tools and versions for this. So this is the, the scene I've set up in another video guide uh, using the lining. And what we need to do is go in the edit menu and go in the plugins and activate the NVIDIA. So let's search NVIDIA and activate NVIDIA Omniverse ACE Audio Two Phase. You can see it's telling me that it's a new uh, plugin available. And I need to restart, of course. So once you check the mark, you need to restart. And it's telling me that it's not compatible. So at the moment, we cannot use this in 5.4. We need to go back to 5.3. So copy the folder for from uh, 5.3 and then navigate into the UA, UE uh, 5.3 engine plugins paste it and that's it so um, back here in the 5.3 that's under scene i've just done the same thing going into edit plugins search for nvidia turn that check mark on activate that and then go to restart and now just waiting to restart now if you don't know how to do this basic operation in a real engine you'll find a, a real engine video course among other video guys in this playlist so uh, go now into window and you should see in the virtual production this live link panel that you can click and drag around and position anywhere you want or you can leave it floating and this is the one we need to establish the connection between a real engine and uh, NVIDIA Omniverse. So I'm going to click on the source there and also make sure you opened up Omni Omniverse uh, phase to audio to phase. And here click select the quality of the audio and OK. So now here in the audio to face file go in the audio to face section go here to stream live link and activate and also you can enable audio stream so you can hear the audio and you can stream also the animation you can see now it's connected so all we need to do now is go to the blueprint of Pia which is this meta human that I'm using and let's go here in the search down here so the quickest way is to search something so i'm gonna search live and you can see there like the live link panel so i'm gonna click and drag this up because we don't really need all that things and we we can go here orchid face click change it into audio to face animation and then we can also check the use orchid face and that's all we need to do in here now. Back in audio to face. So we set we set up the, the live link. Let's go in the audio panel and just press play. So let me just make this a little bit more comfortable. So this is where you press play. But first let's check something in the face. Make sure here in animation mode you are in use custom mode. So now go back to the audio. And if I move back and forward, you can see that the phase is animating both phases actually from audio to phase and real engine meta human, they're animating uh, following that audio. So if I want, I can change the audio from here because some, some of these are Chinese. So you probably want to have English or something else, but you can also add your own audios. So let's press play. Now you won't hear the audio because I deactivated, but you can see that the, the two phases are synchronized and they will, uh, uh, you know, animate according to the audio file. And also you will you, you will hear double audio. So go in the audio settings 
turn off the audio from uh, audio to face or from Unreal Engine one of, one of the two, otherwise you will hear some annoying effect like echo effect. And now you can see, you press play, the two phases are animated and synchronized, so you can use, you can you have some settings here for the delay. Uh, this is uh, something really heavy, so if you don't have a pretty strong computer, well, it is not gonna play real time, I think, but you can try. So you can also select another folder for the audio. In my case, I've created a folder that I uh, use to store some audio files. So you either copy and paste in that directory together with the audios that are already in there, or you can just create a new folder. And you can see I created a folder with only one audio here but I can use it. Or you can reset everything anytime, so you go back to the initial folder with the original uh, file here, the audio files, which are male and female. So you probably want to go for female here. So let me try with this uh, uh, one. This is a long speech, so if I press play, you can see that they're both speaking. and the, the real engine is going a little bit slow, but again, it's kind of heavy. So uh, down here in the stream live link section, you also have the possibility to decide the frame rate and also burst mode. So this should help you to play this more fluid and you know nice. And um, there you go. So press play. Just wait and. Now you can see on the on the left side, I played the simulation button, but it's kind of going too slow. So I'm gonna stop the simulation. I tried the, to play the simulation to see what, what was gonna happen, but it's kind of, you know, pretty slow. So, and also my graphic card is not um, performing for this. So just, you don't need to play the simulation to see the animation, just, stop the simulation, play, close this, and now you should see more. Yeah, there you go. So you can see now it's nice and fluid and it's speaking uh, with the audio file information nice and without, you know, lag, lags. Okay, so you can now play back and forth, play around with this. And there's also other stuff to play here you have like the possibility to animate the eyes and other stuff from audio to face. You can also change the expressions and you can simulate, for example, the amazement or anger or all this stuff here. So let's do some happy face. So I'm going to increase the amazement and also the, let me see here, the, the joy and the cheekiness maybe. So all, let's see what's gonna happen here. You need to move a little bit around so that it's updating. And you can see now it's definitely kind of amazed and happy. And you can also press the solo if you want to isolate one single emotion like sadness. And now you can see it changed the, the expression. And also, we can try with some, you know, fear, disgust. Let's put some negativity in here. So there you go. So it's changed definitely the, the look. So it's really, you know, playing with an actor. And you find also other parameters here, but you you once the link is done, you can just play around. So this will be all for this video guide. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, subscribe to the channel to stay updated. Please join the channel to support us so that we can create more and go check our other video courses and video guides. Thanks for watching, see you in the next.